Okay, okay, okay. Um, I am doing Monkey Madness. I did most of Monkey Madness, the long, hard parts, back years ago. And then I didn't go back. Um, so I was, I was on the last two parts. One is to save the monkey from Artie and uh, bring it back to Avatol. And the other is the last boss fight. The final battle it calls it. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm in monkey form. I apparently just found another bolt. I'm wearing my uh, attractor. Or accumulator now. I forgot. I upgraded it. Uh, my friend um, bought me like a blessed gothics dragon hide outfit so and gave me like the rune um, you know it made me like a ring of fortune and uh, gave me like everything I needed except for like the food and stuff you know um, to to finally fucking finish this quest. I probably would have been fine with what I had, because, you know, like, I'm combat level 84, but just to, you know, finally fucking finish this quest. We're doing it tonight. Also, I'm having some weird lag with this. Um, I suspect that my PlayStation is downloading something. But, um, yeah. Fanok and I have come up with a plan. But uh, Monkey Madness, uh, kind of like the premises is you're tasked by, um, you know, the gnomes to try to save the 10th Squadron, which is a group of gnomes, like Royal Guard gnome things, troops, that got uh, crash landed near Apatol, which is this place, like, full of monkeys. Um, and the, what... The, uh, like, Glow and uh, Cranador, I think his name is, um, want to do is to misuse the monkeys having the 10th Squadron, like, in their jail. Um, if something happens to them, they're hoping that war will be declared. Um, and they're trying to blame it on the humans. So my character was tasked to try to save them, and... Um, yeah, so they're trying to, you know, make it seem like either my character or humans in general killed off the gnome squadron. Um, but yeah, we had to, like, get a Gree Gree, which could turn me into a monkey, um, monkey speak amulet so I could talk to monkeys, talk to the king of monkeys, etc, etc. So what we just got now is, after I, the king was like, you know, I'll only trust you if you do a task for me, and so I had to go get a monkey from the, a zoo and travel all the way back with the monkey to show, like, you know, that I can be trusted. So that's what I did. Um, and just now we just had the cutscene where the, uh, we found, uh, Garkor, uh, overheard them talk, or, um, not him, but I think others overheard um, that uh, they were planning to summon a monster and kill off the uh, 10th squadron and blame it on the humans. Sunok and I have come up with a plan. What will we do? Uh, what kind of plan? And I'm in monkey form by the way. This is what this does. I hope you're you were listening closely. The teleportation spell that was provided will teleport all of the 10th Squadron, no matter where we may be. In effect, the spell will break Lumo, Bunkdo, and Karado out of jail for us. But you will teleport straight into whatever trap they have prepared. Indeed, this is where you come in. Do not forget that we are the 10th Squad of the Royal Guard, and that we are more than capable of holding our own. With your assistance, we should be able to defeat whatever is thrown at us. But how will I join you? Simple. We fool the teleportation spell that you are, in fact, a member of our squad. What? Zunok knows Glow's, 
grasp of magic well. He believes the spell is linked to the signals that all of our squad carry. It is these signals, sigils, <coughs> that are identified as a member of the squad. Garcock uh, hands you some kind of medallion. Welcome to the 10th squad, Lady Norman. What is it? It's a replica way Martin has made of our squad sigils. If you wear that, when the spell is cast, you'll be summoned along with the rest of us. You should prepare. Collect your thoughts and belongings, and when you wear the sigil, and then wear the sigil. Hurry, human. We do not wish to enter this fight without you. All I have to do is wear the sigil? Yes, but do not do so until you are ready. Yeah. Um, examine. I wonder what the, it's the official signal of the Royal Guard. Yeah, I'm pretty much all set. I expect I'm just going to murder this um, jungle demon because, like, I am close. Like, I'm slightly above its combat level, but I am wearing, like, the best fucking armor I can for my level and stuff. Um, I did get 60 prayer too. I'm gonna, um, the demon can attack with magic and melee. Uh, I definitely am not good enough to beat it with melee because, um, but I'm going to use like, you know, magic protect, um, but I'll go over the monkey madness thing. It's, um, it was actually one of the like, you know, um, with the quest, it was kind of like a rite of passage, like along with like Desert Treasure and Recipe for Disaster and stuff, when I actively played. It was released in 2004. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Little 70 Dungle Demon quest. Very long. That's what I mean. I did everything I needed to do before this. Uh, note. Yeah, this is the Fish Crates quest. Um, before the gods came back. Acquired items. Um, and the journal. Okay. So chapter one, I found the 10th squad. We're indeed blowing off course and never reached the shipyard. I am currently on a mission for King Narnod, Shireen, to investigate their whereabouts. I'm probably slaughtering these pronunciations, by the way. Uh, I made a contact with the rest of the 10th squad who are stranded on an island called El Ape Atoll. I'm working with Sergeant Garknor, Garkor, and High Mage Zunok to create items which will allow me to spy on the monkeys, an amulet of monkey speak, and a monkey gree gree. Number three, I have made my a rather painful way to a large village populated by various types of monkeys. I have been caught and jailed 14 times. Um. Yeah, if you're not wearing your monkey gree gree thing, um, you get caught, shot with arrows because it's like a bottleneck and there's monkey archers all along the uh, sides of it. I found Sergeant uh, Garkor hiding towards the east of the village, having eavesdropped on Awuwuji's plans. He has come to the conclusion that they need a monkey on the inside. I've seen Zunilk knock about the so-called monkey disguise. Garkor wants me to seek audience with Awuji and pretending that I am an envoy from the monkeys of Karamja. Wayne Moten and Bunk Wicket overheard Karanok and Waitar colluding with Awuji to destroy the 10th squad. They plan to use a spell to teleport all the squad to a single location in order to fool the spell. Garkor has given me a sigil, which identifies me with a squad. When a spell is used, I will be teleported along with a squad. Together, we should be able to face whatever we find. I have been warned not to wear the sigil until I am ready. Wuwuji, I have rescued one monkeys from the zoo in Ardagne and have shown the evidence to Wuwuji. I appear to have been sent, earned a Wuwuji's favor. Okay, that's how we get caught up. But yeah, it, it, like before Monkey Mathers, there was like, you know, um, the Grand Tree quest. I think this is the third in the Gnome series. Um, but I've been trying to like, 
like I did, um, you know, like all the other ones, gnome bartending, whatnot. So we will talk to Garkor one more time. What kind of enemy do we face? I don't know. I truly don't know. Okay, let's go. We should have enough. I thought about bringing more <laughs> potatoes. I was like, no, I, I don't need any more. They heal enough. Um, and worse comes to worse, I did bring my ectophile. Um, it's a uh, one-click uninterruptible teleport uh, to get away from that in case I, you know, it doesn't go well. Uh, I am going to put on, uh, where is it? I should actually find it before I... Protect for magic, yeah. Protect for magic. Um, I'm going to stay away from it. I'm not going to get close to it. And we're going to go. I'm just hoping my leg is not too bad. So, let's, where we, let's go where we're going. Let the sigil teleport you when worn. Yes. A tenth squad sigil begins to shake violently. Okay. Ready to help humans, the final battle begins. The monkey Grigory wretches itself. I did not read that. From your hand, power as, uh, as power begins to fade. Okay, let's put the uh, protect from magic spell on and attack jungle demon. God, where the fuck is my... Oh god, I forgot. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Attack jungle demon. Yeah, let's go gnomes. Am I even attacking it? Yeah, okay. Okay, we are attacking it. I'll eat my first potato soon. New track showdown. I think it's, it has 15... Like, it has a lot of HP. Greater jungle demon, a magical ore emanates from its hide. Yeah. Basically all the gnomes are fighting too. Eat a potato. Eat mushroom potato. See, this is what I mean. They're, they're, uh, I made all these potatoes. Matt gave me two, like an off-handed and a Regular hand it, um, crossbow, but I was like, no. I'm really close to leveling constitution and defense, too, so that's why I have defense on. Turn that off. Come on, cooperate. Yeah, yeah, fuck yes. Talk to Garakor. I have it as my active quest, that's why it's blinking. Well done, human, that was the most impressive display of skill. Yeah, I just stood there and shot it with a crossbow. <laughs> Thank you. You should report to King Naranod. Um, immediately. Tell him that the 10th squad still survives and has suffered no casualties. <laughs> Rest assured, I will do so. How do I leave this place? Speak to Zoot. Knock. He will arrange for you to leave. Yeah, fuck yes. Oh, do loot. Um. Yeah. Anything else for me to take? Because it's saying there's another red. 
Oh, it's my ruined bolts. It's really hard to see with this. Yeah, most of the rune bolts will, um, yeah, I used seven. <laughs> okay, um, the thing that with that before I left, uh, my friend had given me royal bolts, but I don't have the range level to use them. So he, he went and made me some rune bolts, because I was like, I have mithril bolts, like, I 200 mithril bolts should be fine. And he's like, no, I'm going to make you some rune bolts, I'm already starting it. So, had to wait. Monkey, like, the problem with the monkey, it's kind of bugged. Um, you can't, um, like, teleport normally with it or it'll leave. Hi, Neptune. Neptune just come to see me. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wizened little gnome dressed in brightly colored clothes. I don't like the gnome change. I like the old ones. They were so they had so much character pr prior to the uh, graphical update. Well done, human. Bear with me now. We're on Crash Island again. Yeah, um, I think I'm either, am I back on Apatol or am I back on Crash Island? Oh, okay, we're on Apatol. Um, what does it expect me to do? I gotta put, make sure I have my Grigri on if I go near Apatol. Okay with uh, with the help of the 10th squad I managed to slay Cloak's pet which turned out to be of all things a jungle demon Samo, I don't think that is the last I'll see of Glow his demons or the monkeys I should report to King Narnoid yeah okay let's go oh we're gonna celebrate my favorite fruit I felt so bad bringing the monkey here. I I don't want that many. I just want to use sliced pineapple. Um, you can't eat it straight. You, you have to like cut it up. And eat pineapple ring. And eat pineapple ring. I really want some pineapple. I have some canned, but I don't have any some fresh. Nom nom nom. Uh, the pineapple rings are used in... Uh, you can dice them after you cut them into rings and whatnot. And they're used for... Uh, Gnome cooking cocktails. Hi, Neptune. Yeah, Neptune's hanging around me. She's kind of like. She doesn't do laps, but she kind of is acting like she wants to do a lap. So. Oh, there's Void Notes Outpost. I haven't done that for a long time. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to find... I don't know exactly where the, uh... Um, what happened was the crash. I don't know how to get off of here. I know I need to talk to, uh, I think it's Lambo or Jambo. Like, I could, you know, just teleport away normally now that I'm done. Oh, oh, can't go this way. Yeah, they're the same level as me. Not going up there. Oh, there's a, they're down here. Is there something down here? No, it's a bird. Uh, yeah. 
basically what will happen is not only will I get attacked, I'll get captured and then have to get out of monkey jail again. And I don't want to do it for a 15th time. I don't remember how to get it off of here. Ah, da, 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 da. Don't want to go too far because I'll get attacked. Basically, you can't get in. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't want to tell. I want to do for role playing purposes. <laughs> to not uh, teleport. Okay. Yeah, this part is called United We Stand, the uh, part I just did. Yeah, he's uh, 15,000 HP. Like, it's not that hard. Like, there's food available, too. You can, like, um... I don't know how to leave the Apatol jungle. I, yeah, like I want to leave how I'm supposed to leave. Like, I know how I can get back easily, you know. Because I can just teleport now that there's home teleport. Um... <clears throat> Southeast of the island. Okay. Well, we're gonna wear the monkey Cree Gree. So I don't have to worry about the other monkeys. How do I get across? I know I need to go up and around, but... Uh, I don't know. Go up this way, I guess. Now that I'm not a monkey, I don't have to worry about going into the town. No? the gates. Uh, monkey wishes to pass. But yeah, doing this beforehand, it's like, you know, I brought the anti-poison because I remember it, like, kicking my ass last time. There we go. Uh, um, there's the plank. Yeah, there's gnomes down here. Okay. Let's... Oh, that's birds. Uh, come on. Lambo, where the fuck are you? If 
problem is the birds showing up as NPCs on the map. How, what to do with them as you, if you're doing hunting? Yeah, there we go, the rowboat. Not where I th remembered it being. Then I'm gonna have not played this for since I think it was like the last time I played on my uh, Windows XP computer. <laughs> you take me back to Crash Island as you wish. I have a word with Wadar. Yeah, there you are, you fucker. Come here. I guess I can't, like, berate him for... As you wish. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no reason. I know you were in cahoots, fucko. Yeah. I don't get to go back to uh, the hangar or any of that shit. Okay, I want to have good chat, so we're taking off my helmet. The picture lady just holding it under her arm. Yeah, I changed her hair. Um, I try to keep her hair uh, matching mine, uh, and I have had pink hair for a few years now. So I uh, changed hers. I didn't like the color. I, like I changed it to the brine shrimp one. Oh, this is not the right place. This is where I have to go though in a bit. Um, I'm trying to train my herb lore up. I went the wrong way too, I think. Um, yeah, I need to go down. I didn't go over far enough. I saw the, the uh, I probably cut through actually up here. Um, I saw I changed it to the brine shrimp uh, one because on my computer it looked light enough, but on um, oh I got herb lore XP from I guess cutting the pineapple. Yeah, this fucking creatures from Glow. They're they're disgusting. Uh, King Narnod. Node. Yes, how is the mission going? I it's been quite some time since I sent you on your way. It's over. It's finally over after like ten years. <laughs> what do you mean over? I mean finished. Yes, all right, report on what happened. With all due respect, sir, if I told you, you would not believe me. I expect Sergeant Garkor will be sending you a full report soon enough. And what of my 10th squad? They're all alive. We suffered no casualties. We, Lady Noramon? Uh, I am part of the 10th squad now. I even have the sigil. <laughs> Joking. Not <laughs> your sigil. Well, now it appears I cannot argue with that. Garker obviously thinks highly of you, as do I. No service is such that you have done for me it goes unrewarded in my kingdom. I personally made a visit to the Royal Treasury to withdraw your reward. I like how he's like, just like, like, this is slight second law that's like, I went to the treasury. King Narnoda hands you a huge stack of gold coins and several diamonds. Got three diamonds. Yeah, I'm going to be leveling up, okay? I'm going to put this this way. 
because this is going to be this is going to put me up quite a bit like probably two levels each um Axe to Agility Course, Ability to Wield the Dragon Scimitar, and Monkey Gree Grees. Um, I don't know why the Dragon Scimitar is included in that. Monkey in your backpack, two Treasure Hunter Keys. Quest points, 128. Yeah. So you're officially a member of the 10th Squad, then. I suppose so. Well, then you better sign up for training. Training? Yes, all members of the Royal Guard must compete a mandatory training program. Where do I sign up for this? I, Tree Guardian Dayro, is in charge of the training program. You should go, you should know where to find it by now. I did not. Hmm. Okay. It didn't put me fully over. I figured I it would put me over because I was under I was like at a thousand for each. So I figured it would put me over for uh constitution and uh defense because I also have bonus XP in these two. But it put me just at like under uh six hundred and under eight hundred. Sad. I was really hoping it would level me up from those. Because I want, I like having all my uh, combat skills being equal. Okay, we'll go talk to Dayro. Um, it used to be Glow. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, anyway, it was, uh, I had no idea where to find this person until I looked at the wiki before I got back here. Good day, High Tree Guardian. Uh, and then in the first one, the Grand Tree, the first quest in this, um, he gets, you know, kicked out. And now it's Dayro. Hello there, I heard your mission is complete. News travels quickly on this tree. I'm here to be enrolled in the Royal Guard training program. I expect you know that I am to be enrolled in the Royal Guard training program. Indeed, I do. How long does it take? For you, it should hardly take any time at all. Let, then let us begin. Enthusiasm, I like that. Then we shall first begin with a series of exercises designed to increase your strength and stamina. We'll then follow these up by improving your attack and defense techniques. Let us begin. You must choose what you want to focus on. Yes, I don't really want to work on my strength. So I'm going to pick attack and defense. Several hours later. Oh, it put me up everything 62 except for hit points. How much am I off for hit points? Okay, I got some bonus XP in that. I didn't use my bonus XP. Combat 85! Okay. Yeah. Uh, 62 is what I want to get. Um, quest requirement with Chosen Commander. I haven't done any of the Bando stuff. I've done any of that either. 
the lava monster things. Bring a vigor. Lots of cars. 62 dungeoneering. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely what I gotta work on. Is uh, hit points. Make sure I got it set to uh, contain defense XP. Oh. Yeah, I'll leave it on. But yeah, I'm almost. I was really hoping that would push me to 60, too. Um. Anyway, I just got like a shitload of XP. Uh, da -da -da, talk to Darrow. Oh, I don't need to return to Crash Island. I'm gonna go talk to the king now, I guess. Hi there, King Naranoid. Good of you to stop by, human. How fair is the kingdom today? Everything's fine, as far as I can tell. I'll let you know if there is trouble. But yeah, I'm gonna craft these diamonds. Uh, I don't want to make bolt tips, bucko. Gem cutting. I don't like this new... Oh, they're already cut! I don't have to worry about that then. Yeah, it didn't drop, uh, like some- it, where was a demon? It didn't drop demonic ashes. It just dropped regular ashes, but that's probably because it's, you know, such an old request. Um, I gained 3,500. Sad that the constitution only gave me- but I didn't want to put too much in strength. The strength I have the most in. So yeah, probably should have done it the other way, but defense I did want to get to. So yeah, we'll work on uh, Constitution. But yeah, those are spies. They're made to look cute, you know. Um, I think I can kill. But yeah. It, There's a gnome woman. I'm not gonna attack her, but I'm gonna examine her. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, I don't remember what the next quest is. Oh, we got that one done. I'm trying to finish up the quest that I started, but I did not finish. Recipe for Disaster is another one I kind of have to do. Um, I don't think I have the in the Lunchbird Castle dining room. Uh, yeah, what the um, Recipe for Disaster is very, very long. It's parts of it that you can do um, from the get-go and parts you can't. The requirements are only 10 cooking. Um, I did the Dwarf one. Um, basically, it's uh, it kind of fucked there was a with um you know trying to get everyone a meal that they will like but you know like we know um king of Wowoji is in uh Apatol, but he's also in you know different instances of the character he's in ah <sighs> the uh Lumbridge Castle dining room. See, so yeah, I should see what I can do. Like, I know there's a lot I can't finish, um, but it's meant to be like an ongoing thing. But, um, yeah. Uh, so what other quests do I have that I have started? Yeah, big chompy bird hunting. I should go to finish it because that's kind of, you know, it's a requirement for a lot of quests. Uh, what is Clock Tower anyway? Yeah. I have not done that. Um, a lot of the quests, the problem in, uh, I think it's 2017, 
they changed the way that quest accepts work beforehand if you had like you could sometimes start quests and then not be able to finish them but now it locks you in uh, to all the requirements before you can start um, so that's why it's uh, it let like I have fairy tale part two I have started and I did up to the fairy ring section but now I would not be able to start it because I don't have the herb lore and farming requirements. Um, I can't do the next part of that anyway because I'm at the <laughs> herb lore and farming requirements. Um, I'm actually, uh, I think, not that far off from the herb lore and farming requirements quest overview. But see, I don't have the 57 herb lore and 49 farming. I hate. I hate hate getting farming XP. I'm gonna have to talk to my friend about how is it how if it's easier to get. Um, but yeah there's a lot I haven't done. I've started but haven't done. Um, but yeah I think my next quest I'm gonna do is probably Summer's End because there's a uh, I'm also trying to get my uh, prayer up um, to 70. Uh, I don't need it up to 70 because I have. Uh, I got. I just got the uh, stole. I was actually worried uh, that it. Like I thought it was 70, but anyway, got the stole I can wear now. Um, but yeah. Um, Lots of new prayer effects. But, yeah, I think either... <clears throat> I think I'll do Summer's Ends next. And then I'll probably do uh, Desert Treasure. Because I do have the uh, requirements for that. I'm pretty sure. I think I have, like... I might have even started. No, I didn't start it. I also got to go um, to some more lodestones that I've been previously for quests and stuff, but I didn't automatically unlock. Yeah, 30, 53 thieving. Okay. Uh, how much thieving do I have? Yeah, I need three more levels in thieving. Um, there is, like, I can do the uh, monkey thing again, I think, and take it to uh, Karimja. Um, but anyway. So that's what we did. We did uh, Monkey Madness, finally, after 10 years. Like, I started it before the graphic uh, well, update to the gnomes was done. But yeah, all done, all done, all done. Gnome Village. Tree Gnome Village was the other quest. Yeah, this is the third one then.